Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. Okay, this time I'll be doing a benchmark test on the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So we're just going to test the CPU and the GPU on this device here. So before I start the test, I'm just going to go into the settings. And I'm going to change the screen resolution. Okay, so let's just turn it up to WQHD, which is 2960 by 1440. So it's turned right up to the maximum. So we're just going to push the CPU and the GPU to its limits with the screen resolution turned up to the maximum. Also, we're just going to make sure we don't have any running applications open because we want to get some accurate results here. Okay, so there's no running apps. And like I said, the application we're using is Geekbench 4. This is a free application from the Google Play Store. Okay, so here's a quick little rundown of the specs. So the model number SMG965F, we know that already. The OS is Android 8.0. The CPU is Arm V8 and cluster one, which is four cores, is clocked at 1.79 gigahertz cluster 2 is clocked at 2.70 gigahertz so we're just going to run the cpu test to begin with after that we'll run the gpu test <clears throat> Okay, so we're halfway through the test there, we're at 50%, 
Okay, so the test is now complete. So here's the results for the CPU score. So the single core score is 3,642. And the multi-core score is 9,003. So there it is again, single core 3642, multi core score 9003. Okay, so now we're just going to run a GPU test. Okay, so this is the compute benchmark. Compute benchmark measures the performance of the GPUs at performing common compute tasks. This benchmark takes 2 to 10 minutes to complete. So let's just run the compute benchmark. This is going to test the GPU. And as you can see, it's just flying through this test right now. It's already at 55%, 66. And the GPU is the Mali G72, as you can see there. So the test is complete already. That was just a matter of seconds, less than a minute. And the test is complete. It's just currently uploading the results. taking its time come on Geekbench encountered an error what's going on here Okay, let's just run it back again. For some reason, there was an error. Since it's a quick test running the GPU, let's just run it back again real quick. I think the app might need updating because this is running Android 8.0. And with Android 8.0 being a new operating system, Maybe um, it needs an update or something. I don't know. Hopefully, we shouldn't get an error this time. We should get the results. So we're at 77%. 8800. Come on, fingers crossed. We don't want an error this time. We want the results. God damn it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
here we go again an error again what is really going on oh gosh let's try one last time why do I keep getting an error we just want the results that's all we want am I right people that's all we want we just want the results that's all we want come on Okay, after what two different attempts we've finally succeeded in getting the results. Okay, so the render script score is 6,255, as you can see there. And here's the system information. Particle physics, 433.4 frames per second. So yeah, guys, that's the score, 6,255. And this is how it compares to the HTC Nexus 9, Motorola Nexus 6, Samsung Galaxy S7, the Huawei Nexus 6P, the Samsung Galaxy S6, the Asus Nexus 7, the Samsung Galaxy S5. So you can see the S9 Plus is at the top there with a huge score of 6,255. So you can see it's won by a very large amount of points. That deserves a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, guys. <laughs> it's your boy, if you enjoyed that time out. Toasters.